Hi guys, it's me, Kathy, Mrs. Handy Are You. I'm back. I know you probably thought I was never coming back, but I did. Kind of like a bad penny turning up again. And I think I hear someone walking in. Oh, it's, it is Mr. Handy. <laughs> and I wanted him to say hi. I'm glad he wanted to. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see my t-shirt? What does it say? I triple dog dare you. Yeah. And, uh, oh, but you're not wearing PJs I made. Bummer. Uh -huh. I usually make him PJs, but that's okay. Anyway, so he's going to watch the Patriots game, of course. The only game in town, you know, Patriots football. And uh, thank you very much for stopping by. <laughs> he's so funny. Uh, <laughs> he's here to show his support because, uh, Certain people that we know are very upset with us for doing this. And, uh, anyway, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, I'm not letting it stop me. I know how you guys feel when you're uh, alienated from family members. I know a lot of you are. So, um, I guess that's why this happened, you know. So, I would have more compassion for people who are on the outs because of what they believe. You know, outs with people that they love and care about or are friends with and all that. So I guess that's why it happened. And I mean, you have to take something good out of the bad, right? So that, I guess that's why that happened. So I'm with you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have, um, I decoded some stuff from the history tour. And I thought I'd start off with uh, Sunrise, well, Sunrise, Florida was the location, and Sunrise equals 105, and Rosie came up, I don't, I don't think you can see her though, um, it's 105, that equals Kim Clement, Giant Voice, and you know I'm doing Simple Gematria, um, which is A equals 1 through Z equals 26, in case you guys, somebody is watching that's new, and, you know, look at gematrix.org to find matches and see what God tells you is the right match for what you're looking at. So, you know, uh, that's what I do. Anyway, uh, so sunrise equals 105, like when you add up all the letters, the way I just said, it's 105, and um, it equals Kim Clement, Giant Voice. Now, Giant Voice is the, um, the name for the military alert, emergency alert system. So when they go on alert, that's the name of the program, Giant Voice. So that's a big deal. Savior, I am the Lord. Brothers, you know how I'm always talking about brothers. This year, this year, we are ready. And they're all 105. Um, hammer time, all is well. So everything's good, you know? Don't get uptight. So, then the next part is Florida, and that equals 65. That equals phrase that we've said in the past a lot, hi honey, um, do it, and I won't say the letter, it's uh, the 17th letter of the alphabet because I don't want to get kicked off, so do it, and you know, 17th letter, um, 65 is also Durham, and you know, everyone's waiting for John Durham to do his report, and uh, I'm really sure it's Junior you know, in a disguise, because he's playing so many parts. Mr. R-E-K, and that stands for Raymond Edward, I used to say Kosija, I don't think that's right, uh, Kosija, Kosija, it's probably kind of like Polish or something, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and that comes up in the decoding all the time, that name, uh, Ray, Mr. Kos Kosija, 
uh, and Mr. Kosich is probably listening, going, oh, she's always saying it wrong, you know? Um, anyway, let's see. And remember the anagram for the name, uh, Ray Edward Kosija is, is the only thing that matches this at all, that makes any sense at all when you do anagrams, is Jack ordered away. And if you could hear me, ordered, okay, Jack ordered away. In other words, he was told not to be in the limo that day. And he, I'm sure he knew ahead of time, but anyway, Rosie, relax. You gotta stop it. You gotta stop. Sorry. Um, okay. So I'm still on 65, uh, Florida. Uh, okay. Team God show shocked faked death i mean doesn't that match what we've been talking about limo and everything like that and i have a whole lot more i think will be a whole nother episode on what different reasons i think that you know um graceland for our pastor bob joyce and uh, elvis dress is 65 and I think I did mention it in the last episode, I hope I did, about the wax that will be found on Jackie's dress, or she wasn't a dress, it's more like a two-piece suit that she wore. Um, well, the, the thing that was in the car that looked like Jackie, you know, will have wax on it, and um, she kept the dress. So anyway, um, debt free, which is always a happy thought. And let's see, so I, that was Florida, that was all 65, all of that. So I'm sorry, I'm a little out of, out of shape in reading notes, I guess, I don't know, that's bad. So when you put the two uh, words together, you put sunrise Florida together, it equals 170, which equals Lord God Almighty, 170, prophecy is here, Christ has risen January 6th. Now, you know the infamous day this past January was um, when they said that certain people, <laughs> certain people, <laughs> went into the Capitol building and caused commotion and people were arrested and all. And um, from what we've figured out and decoded and all that, and from all the film footage that we've analyzed, it was um, a fake, a fake thing that the police like encouraged them to come into. So <laughs> I don't even want to say those words. So anyway, but January sixth matches Sunrise, Florida. Um, wealth transfer. Remember the wealth of the wicked moves to the righteous. So that's what's happening at some point. Um, and justice for all. And that's like everybody. We're talking about now and a long, long time ago. You know, justice for all. And that's a big deal. I think about it, it's not just us. It's, it's everybody, everybody, everything. Um, let's see, Isaac. Benjamin Cappy. Remember Isaac Cappy? And um, looked like he was off of B-R-I-D-G-E. And uh, I think he was our, our junior too, along with him junior being John Durham. So he's not really gone. So if anybody's still upset about that, I, I don't think there's any reason to be upset about that. I mean, I've gotten out of, you know, several times. It's not just from what I just read today, I've gotten it quite a bit. Um, and you guys know that God speaks in numbers, just like he speaks to you in dreams and all kinds of stuff. You know, he speaks to you in different ways and uh, he sends angels to protect you. I mean, God speaks in a lot of ways. So numbers is certainly not the only way. I'm not, I'm not saying it is. Uh, let's see. Now, I, I wrote wrote down some songs that they were playing before before everything began and um 
I didn't, I mean, I didn't write all the lyrics out, but you can easily look up the lyrics. And every time you hear songs before rallies or at the end of rallies, they all mean something. Sorry about the noise. They all mean something. And it's usually something to do with the lyrics um, or who wrote the song, possibly. So anyway, can, it was Kansas, first one. Carry on, my wayward son. You know, like the, the son that, I uh, can't even think what the right the story is in the Bible. That's bad. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and everybody's yelling at the screen going, I know, she's so stupid. Let's see. And it was from an album that was out in 1977. You know, and 77 is Christ. So I thought that was cool. Um... Let's see. Stop it. You gotta stop pushing on my papers. So I, I'll just read a couple of lines of lyrics from that song. Um, well, carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. A thousand years of peace. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. And once, now, I took this in little bits. Like, once I listened to the line, once I rose above the noise and confusion, and I took, I rose, you know, like, I'm, I'm up, I'm back. And um, just to get beyond this illusion, and you guys know what that is, let's see. And then in verse 2, it says, masquerading as a man with a reason. So I thought that was pretty neat, masquerading as a man. My charade is the event of the season, you know, and we're always coming up with a um, great event and, you know, the show goes on and, you know, things like that in decoding. And um, I still think we'll see somebody before Christmas, but, you know, I don't know. I was certainly wrong about the last time, but whatever. You know, dates are terrible. Shouldn't even try. Uh... Oh, and then they say a little bit later in that verse, on a stormy sea. And we're always, you know, saying the storm is upon us, you know, from our favorite and on. Um, let's see, what other songs did we hear? Um, yeah, Tiny Dancer from Elton John, you know, John. And uh, Nessun Dorma. From, I think, wasn't it Placido Domingo? I might be wrong now. I can't remember. Anyway, Nessun Dorma. And that that means no one sleeps tonight. I don't know why. It could be for other people. It could be for us on a certain night when things are happening. You know, who knows? Who knows? But I've heard Nessun Dorma at a lot of his events. You know, so Nessun Dorma definitely means something. Um, there was Elvis, and it was, we're caught in a trap, we can't, um, let's see, yeah, we can't get out, is that the right way it goes, I don't remember, um, and then we can't go on together with suspicious minds, and then there was Johnny Cash, um, run on for a long time, although somebody else said it wasn't Johnny Cash, and it was just someone who sounded like him, so, Honestly, I didn't look it up to see if it was an old Johnny Cash song or if it was by somebody else. So, whatever. Sounded like Johnny Cash. And, uh, anyway. And, uh, run on for a long time. Oh, I said that. And, son of a gosh, gonna cut them down. It's in the lyrics. Come on, John, do my will. You know, that sounds intense, but that's, that's what. You know, anyway, we won't go there. Um, and all this was at the BBT Center, like B, like boy, BBT Center. Well, at a BBT and Jamatrix and, you know, Bs or two and, the, you know, all that, um, it equals seven. And when you, <laughs> these three things are seven. So it's three separate things. It's not all of them together. D.C. equals 7, like, you know, District of Columbia. D.C., um, B, B.E., and then bad, 
D7. So you can say it like DC be bad. I thought that was pretty funny when I noticed that. Um, let's see. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let's see. And the first words that President Trump said in this interview was, um, they're always, first words are always important, no matter who's saying them, you know, anybody. The first words mean a lot. And he said, let's have some fun to Bill O'Reilly. And I got this feeling, now, I, I haven't analyzed this enough, and I just thought of it like just a bit ago, so I didn't go back and look, but, you know, could our junior have been dressed up as Bill O'Reilly? Like, it just kind of hit me, like, could that have happened? And I know Bill is tall, but, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. It could be, it, maybe it wasn't at all. I, I mean, it just kind of hit me, and I, I haven't had time to figure it out or look back and enlarge photos or anything, and I do know there's ways to make people look much taller um, than the other person, so I mean, there's all this theatrical kind of stuff you can do, and the second person can bend their, you know, that's say President Trump, I mean, say he's supposed to be the shorter person, all he has to do is bend his knees slightly, and you can't really tell, and I mean, there's there's so many ways. You can wear lifts in your shoes, you can wear higher shoulder pads, and it kind of just makes you look taller, you, you know, so that probably sound crazy, but, you know, it, it could be. Just a thought. Why don't you guys go check? That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go check this stuff. Don't just take my word for anything, right? Um, okay, so I got through Johnny Cash and the BBT Center was seven. Let's have some fun. That's where we were. Um, yeah, and that equals 237. I'll get to that in a minute. But but then Bill O'Reilly said something interesting. Uh, he's in on everything, whoever he is, with him or whatever. He said, I pistol whipped the mic. You know, the mic? I, I, I didn't see anything happen to the mic, but he said... That's what he said. I pistol whipped the mic. I heard it went down. Like, okay. He said that. So, anyway. Uh, so then, you know, they went back and forth. And just like any old interview. Uh, let's see. Dump that. Let's see. Okay. I, de I decoded let's have some fun. So, let's have some fun. Went at 85. I hope I said that before, because that's what I have here. Gosh, I've made mistakes, and you know that, right? Um, that equals Donald John Trump. That's 185. So that was interesting. You think that's a chance, that coincidence, that he'd say, um, let's have some fun, and it equals his name? No. All these leaders, all the people in big business, all these people talk to each other in code. And that's what they're trying to teach us through all this. To, to know when we hear, um, you know, or even in newspaper headlines, you know, or there's a quote highlighted in an article that, you know, say, President Xi from China said, and that's what they want, you know, they want you to look at that and see what, what is he really saying, you know, they've been doing this forever. And now we're in on it, and we're finally getting to know, okay, it's all code. It's all in numbers. So what they're saying means a lot of different things. Yeah, more than one thing, but for sure. So anyway, back to let's have some fun. And Donald equals 185. Donald John Trump is 185. So I don't think it's a coincidence. Perfect math proof is 185. Book of Revelation is 185. Stock market crash, 185. Don't worry, right? You know that. Targeted individual. And that could be all kinds of people that we've been looking at. Um, very soon now. Now, who knows what that is referring to? It could mean lots of this stuff. Very soon now. I, I don't know. Um, the earth will shake is 185. 
let's see. Now this one was a confusing one. Um, I have a question mark with it. Leave New Year's Day. Now it could have something to do with um, the Saturnalia stuff that is so horrible, um, which I'm not getting into in this in this episode, but we've talked about it before. But it but that um, New Year's Day comes about because of that. So that's why we have New Year's Day. And so that's creepy, you know, in itself. Um, anyway, on to happier things. Um, also 185 is your inheritance. Global financial reset, 185. And oh, this was so cool that this matched, this next one. Now, pure uncut diamonds. And I mean, it has something to do with the financial reset, obviously, but it was also that exact phrase was in an episode of, well, you don't say the H, like it, you're supposed to say Hercule, er but it's spelled H-E-R-C-U-L-E-S, like Hercules, but he's Belgian and he's a detective. You can watch him on the, on, um, YouTube and other places, and anyway, I love the I love watching it, but it's tons of it is in code, just like Sherlock Holmes. It's so cool. So anyway, pure uncut diamonds was a phrase I just heard when I watched Hercule uh, Poirot's Christmas, and the guy had uh, the main character had a thing about oh he had to keep looking at at his at his pure uncut diamonds. So everywhere guys do 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 um the carrington event is 185 and uh that was I, I didn't even know what that was till i saw the phrase come up in gematrix uh, i mean i guess i'd heard of it but i didn't really know what it was so the the carrington event was um there was a british scientist named i'll just have to read it Richard Carrington, and there was another scientist too, but the second one never gets his name in the record books, you know? <laughs> Richard Carrington, and he was watching the sun through a telescope with a, like the dark lenses, and he was watching a, a very big solar storm, and it was like just being created. He was watching it at that moment, and uh, then it ended up after a period of time, it engulfed the whole world. And there was like uh, the Northern Lights were everywhere. Um, the only thing that was electronic that was all throughout the world, or, you know, throughout much of the world, was the telegraph. And it melted everything. So all the communication that way was gone. And that's why people get so upset about solar storms and being prepared. Because if it can happen once, it can happen again, you know, and supposedly the, their history says, um, if you looked up, look up about CMEs, that's what they call them. That's the average that they happen about every hundred years in, in recorded history. So, you know, anyway, just thought I'd let you know that. And um, anyway, after the first CME that he saw, Richard Carrington, um, it, coincidentally, 17 hours later, um, the next one, the big one, reached the Earth. Um, yeah. So imagine if, if, you know, it would be the Internet, it would be everything. Uh, and the phrase that you guys know, where we go one, we go all, is 185. So let's end that on a happy note. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to make this too long. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to stop for now. I'll, I'll just make another video. And I'll probably do a couple more all at the same time. So I'm just going to put them up at different times. Because nobody's going to watch like two hours, three hours of me droning on. So um, anyway, I'll upload them separately. And I missed you guys. And I hope you were doing okay. And, um, you know, I... I completely understand how you guys feel uh, being, being alienated and feeling awkward around people and I have I do have more compassion than I did before I really do and um, I love you guys and you know
know, leave comments if you want and talk to each other. I love it when you guys talk to each other. And I'm always seeing the wrong Telegram page. My Telegram is real. Mrs. Handy, are you? And I always forget to say real. So hope you guys look into that. And uh, the one where you guys can post is Mrs. Handy, are you? Chit chat. You know, like chit chat with each other. So anyway, and uh, like I said, I love you. And uh, Rosie says goodbye, but she's snoring. So I'll do another video real quick. And uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.